What's happening all my awesome YouTube peeps? We are back in the shop this weekend, doing a little bit of maintenance on the Mini, doing a little bit of cleaning here in the shop, and I've got something really awesome to show you. It's another new snap-on tool. It is the new EEPV700 wireless pressure tester. We're gonna see what comes in the kit, how this thing functions, how it works, and see if you guys like it or not. Stay tuned. There's been a whole wave of new tools coming out lately and I'm pretty excited about it. I'm glad Snap-on's jumped on the wireless bandwagon. They've been making a whole bunch of stuff wireless lately. And this tool is no exception to it. The EEPV700 is a wireless tool that is going to be testing any and every kind of pressure. It's supposed to be able to test oil pressure, compression, vacuum pressure, any kind of pressure you can really throw at it up to 500 PSI. It's a pretty neat little tool. It's going to have a magnetic backing, so it's going to stick to whatever surface you guys can stick it to. Um, it weighs about a pound. It's got its own little chuck right here on the end. And then the kit that it comes with is this one right here. This blow molded kit and case comes in. Nice instructions right there for you. And let's get into all the other accessories. So just as the kit comes right here, we've got an adapter for a compression gauge with a button to blow off the compression gases. We've got a couple of extra fittings that would be for like vacuum lines, oil pressure lines, and then this one is for fuel pressure, I believe, your standard fuel pressure leads is going to hook right up to this one has the uh, blow off area right there oh, get all this untangled here has another adapter in here an extension I guess for for the adapters and one more little thing in here looks like for the actual pin in the end it's going to be some uh, or for the compression gauge at least it's going to be some new ends for the ends of the pins all in all got a pretty comprehensive kit uh, it doesn't come with anything that's going to hook directly up to other sources like uh, vacuum lines or the oil pressure or the fuel or the compression it's all adapters for those other kits to make what kits you already have wireless I would have liked to have seen some adapters come in this for the fuel pressure fittings. Maybe not the compression one, but at least the fuel pressure and then another hose in here so some vacuum fittings. I think that would have been something pretty cool. But as far as the actual meter goes, like I said, this thing has actually got a really hefty magnet on the back. So this thing is going to stick to whatever you put it to. I'm going to turn it on. It is a standard LCD screen. It's not... Uh, we're gonna see I think it has backlight yep backlit screen so it's not a color screen or anything like that but it's the LED LCD with the backlit screen to it um, modes you put in a vacuum pressure so you can be reading vacuum or pressure negative or positive and then we're able to change the units here you're in PSI KPA bar PSI so those different forms of pressure you're able to be in it is um, fully wireless got batteries inside of it I'm not sure exactly what kind of batteries it takes I'm sure I could take it apart and figure it out here real quick but it does have a little quick disconnect fitting for its own little ports right there so I think we're gonna hook this thing up over to the Mini Cooper here and we're gonna see what kind of pressure and vacuum and everything this thing can read as well as check out the app that it uses. Being wireless and all, it does connect Bluetooth. You're gonna be able to hold this button down right here 
and connect to the Bluetooth app. Let's check the app out. So when we want to go into the app, we're going to go right here to the specific app for this exact tool. You're going to download that one. And then we're going to go over here to the tool and we're going to hold the left button to turn on the Bluetooth find function. We're going to hit the connect button, search the device, and it is connected. So we've got everything all connected up. You can select between compression, pressure, oh, it's asking what time of pressure you'll be testing, fuel, transmission, or oil. Hmm, that's kind of cool. We just click on transmission, that's neat. We go back into pressure and switch over to fuel. All right, and then vacuum, we're in inches of mercury, just sitting out, hanging out there. We'll see what kind of reaction this has because it fluctuates a little bit. I don't know. We'll hook it up over to the screen. It's pretty quick though. We're going to hook it up. How many cylinders are we going to be testing? So, huh. It must store the different readings of the cylinders. And graphs it as well. That's pretty cool. And then you're able to sit in here and record your results and look at the results again. So let's hook it up over to the Mini Cooper and see what kind of cool readings we're going to be getting. All right, so hooked up to the Mini here. We are hooked up to cylinder one. I've got the standard compression gauge fitting out of the snap-on. We'll give you the part number for this one, the MT 308 M kit. So that one is hooked up into cylinder one. Got the coil unhooked, and then we've got our compression gauge. This line came with the kit that adapts it into the new wireless pressure tester. So over here on the meter, we'll go over here to our app, and we've got it set for compression in PSI, and we're going to go ahead and record what we find. So we'll start the recording. Go ahead and crank it. Okay. So we can see we're up to 120 PSI. Yes, I know my battery's about junk, so it cranks kind of slow. And then if we hit the little pressure relief, it instantly drops off. And we will end our recording and save the test. Go back to our test results. See our results right here. We see our graph. We can play it out over the amount of seconds that it recorded and samples it over those few seconds. So all in all, pretty good. Keeps that. You're able to connect uh, just like the other app and send this one select that one and you're able to send it via whatever app you would like to send it on email or through messaging and anything along those lines pretty quick across the Bluetooth connection let's go back to this result and let's not look at the graph Let's just look at the compression and see how closely it is. Go ahead and crank again. Stop. So looks like we're about a half second behind. But when we're thinking about it, that's not really all that bad. Um, we are going to be using this primarily for test driving. Being able to do some of these tests on fuel pressure and oil pressure and everything while driving, maybe even vacuum pressure while decelerating, we're able to magnet it off to the side and close the hood out of the way. All in all, that's going to be something really awesome to where we won't need a second person here to be able to do these tests for us. That's going to make it a lot easier, more of a one-man gig. So I like that function of it myself. 
So just a couple of other small bits of information for you guys. The weight on this thing is gonna be right at 13.4 ounces, so under one pound. Uh, if you can see this little black case around it, uh, the inner part is gonna come out from that and off the back, it does run on a single nine volt battery. So it's not gonna run on any kind of goofy other style batteries that some of the other things have run on in the past. A regular nine volt battery for that. The accuracy rate on this, they say is right at 1% and up to 2% between the 350 to 500 PSI range, but anything under 350 PSI and down through 30 inches of uh, vacuum in mercury, it's gonna be accurate up to 1% on that one. So pretty accurate little meter, that's a good thing. Uh, now we're gonna be looking at the price on this thing. For you guys who have your own shop, you're just the one man band, it's gonna be something for you and it's gonna be running $549. Now whether that's something that you guys think is you know, a reasonable rate, that's gonna be up to you. Whether you guys decide that you wanna use this as you know your own personal tool that you don't have to worry about having somebody else come and help you to do some of your testing, you wanna be able to do it your own and this gives you the freedom to be able to do that. Hook up your tests and then run the test as you need to from your smartphone inside the car. You won't have to have your gauges run out from under the hood, tape them up on the glass while you go on a test drive, you know, just kind of a pain like that. So it alleviates all those extra little pains in doing your testing. So also some pretty cool little knowledge bits for that. So let's go over a couple of little pluses and minuses that I just have for the meter. On the plus side, there's quite a few more. I think it's a really nice little tool. It's hand size. It's got a really good magnet, a really nice case for it. It seems pretty indestructible. It's a very well built tool. It does come with quite a few little adapters to it. That's a plus. Um, the other things that I like about it is the app. The app is very responsive. It's able to store and send any information, any of your readings that you have gotten from it. It does all the readings in the PSI, KPA, and other uh, functions of pressure that you guys want to see. It is able to read up to 500 PSI, so you're good at reading uh, the compression on like diesels. You're not gonna be reading fuel pressure in diesels, but compression, yes, that will be able to do it. So all in all, it seems like a pretty good tool. Now for some of the minuses for the tool. Uh, the app is pretty responsive, but I think they could have done a little bit more refining the edges. The buttons, they, they work sometimes. The app's a little bit on the slow side, but that's for the app developers to figure out sometime in the near future. Uh, the price point, I think for what you get, the price could have been a little bit lower. It does come with some of the adapters, but you do have to have all the other uh, testing style kits. So this isn't a standalone kit. This is just an adaptive thing for, you know, an add-on for the other kits for testing different pressures that you have, making it a little, little bit easier for those. I wish it would have come with a little bit more in the way of connection points for that one. But all in all, I see where they got for the price point. I think it could have been about 100 bucks less, and I wish it would have had the color screen. I know the meter that I just uh, did a review on, that one was priced at $6.99, and this one being priced at $5.49, I think it should have had at least a color screen or a touch screen to that as well. I don't know, just something a little bit more, you know, add-ons for the money that you're paying for it and it only does have a one-year warranty i think they could have done a little bit better with that bumped it up at at least a two-year or three-year warranty i don't know that's just my opinion on it hopefully you guys were able to make your own conclusions from the information that i was able to give to you today if this tool's for you you want to be that one-man band and able to use this tool for any of your pressure and diagnostic testing this would be that tool for you so that's about all the information that I have to give to you guys today. I appreciate you guys stopping in. Make sure you go check me out over on Instagram and Facebook. I have those pages and I update on there almost every single day. Make sure you hit that like button, turn on the bell notification so you get let known when I come out with some really cool and new upcoming content for you guys. I appreciate everything you guys do for me and the channel. And as always, you guys stay awesome.